Hello, this is Park from First Attack. In this video, let's prove theorem 3.2.1, which is the basic properties of norm of vectors in n space. So here we have three properties. You know the distance or the norm, right? So we are familiar with these uh, properties in two space and the three space. Now we can easily generate uh, the results to n space <coughs> general in the n space. Um, think of the first a and the b are quite a quite a simple, right? And the c, uh, we have to use the property. Okay, so look at the a first. So a means the distance is non-negative, definitely, or the norm is non-negative because what? Because c. Any vector v, uh, the definition of a norm is square root of uh, the first component the square plus v2 squared the, the, the plus vn squared. Definitely, okay, so square root is a non negative. This is a non negative. And then the second, uh, the distance equals zero if and only if uh, v is a zero vector. Yeah, definitely if vector is not zero, then the, the norm should be not zero. Or you can say in this way. See. Uh, the norm or the distance equals zero uh, is equivalent to by the definition. See. So v one squared plus v two squared that 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 plus v n squared equals zero. The definition right and that this square root equals zero is only something under the square root is zero so therefore each of them should be zero and that therefore each v should be zero right so this is just equivalent to any vi equals zero i start from one to to n okay and that this means what this means the vector v is a zero vector uh, v i is the component of the vector v. Okay, so v is two. How about the c? C is similar as like a linear property. Okay, so you can factor out like the coefficient or the constant number outside of the norm. Um, but be sure to put the absolute value. So let's see. Let's see, we can do calculation of the norm of k times v. By the calculation is like this long. The first component uh, which is k times v1 squared, right? And uh, the second should be k times v2 squared, and then goes on to k times vn squared. This is the definition. Okay, so I can do what? I can factor out the k. Can you see? So we can easily factor out the k, put the k together. So we have v1 squared plus v2 squared plus, plus vn squared. Okay, so all. And then take the k outside of the square root, which is absolute value of k. Don't miss the absolute. Sometimes the k is negative. Okay. And then times what do we have here? v1 squared, v2 squared vn squared by the definition this is just the uh the norm of vector v okay this is modified and this here is the uh, proof for this theorem yeah that's all thank you